Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into an intriguing topic that's been buzzing in the financial circles. The future of the Iraqi dinar and the Central Bank of Iraq's CBI monetary reform strategy. Many have speculated about the potential for the Iraqi dinar to go international, but is that truly the CBI's goal? Let's break it down. First, let's clarify what we mean by going international. When people talk about a currency going international, they often think about it being freely traded on global markets, much like the US dollar or the euro. This would theoretically allow investors around the world to buy and sell the currency, potentially profiting from its fluctuations. However, according to Intel guru Frank26, this is not the primary goal of the CBI's monetary reform. So, if international trading isn't the goal, what is? According to Frank26, the primary objective of the CBI is to revalue the Iraqi dinar, a process commonly referred to as re-denomination. This involves removing at least three zeros from the exchange rate. But why is this significant? Let's delve into the concept of re-denomination. In the context of the Iraqi dinar, removing three zeros would drastically change the nominal value of the currency. For example, if the current exchange rate is 1,000 dinars to 1 US dollar, a re-denomination could change this to 1 dinar to 1 US dollar. This process is designed to simplify financial transactions, making the currency more manageable for everyday use. It's important to note that this doesn't necessarily mean an immediate increase in value relative to other currencies, but it does make the currency appear stronger and more stable domestically. The next step in this monetary reform process involves the introduction of lower denominations. Once the zeros are removed from the exchange rate, the CBI will need to circulate new banknotes that reflect this change. These new, lower denomination notes will facilitate daily transactions and contribute to a more efficient and user-friendly monetary system. This reform is not just about changing numbers on paper, it's a comprehensive approach to enhancing the financial stability and economic confidence within Iraq. By re-denominating the currency and introducing lower denominations, the CBI aims to create a more robust and resilient monetary system. This, in turn, can foster greater trust in the currency both domestically and potentially internationally over time. It's also worth considering the broader implications of this reform. A more stable and reliable currency can attract foreign investment, which is crucial for Iraq's economic growth. Investors are more likely to put their money into a country with a stable financial system as it reduces the risk of sudden devaluations or economic crises. Moreover, a successful re-denomination and the introduction of lower denominations can improve the purchasing power of Iraqi citizens. When the currency is stable and T 